What's up guys? This is the Boy from Malaya. I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Greece. So to round off happened last time, we captured Syria and we have also made peace with the Ottomans. Um, but based on their AI decision making, uh, they have sailed an amphibi they sailed they sailed a assault force to the Nile Delta, so I used my ships to rebalance my deployments and I brought my army back to Cairo. Um, to act as a bit of a garrison. But we are still technically at peace. So it remains to be seen how long this peace will last. Usually it's not... I don't expect it to be very long. Because the Ottomans will want to try and take it back. Uh, oh. I have a... Okay, I have a border with France. Let's trade. Okay. What about, okay, who are you? Ooh. Risky move. Let's see if it works. Okay, what if we... I'll give you... All the money we have. Hmm. I can't offer any tech. Because you've got so much. Shame. I was hoping maybe an alliance might be a good idea, um, just to kind of cause, give the Ottomans cause for peace, no cause for concern. Um, but five thousand a turn, that's pretty good. But the main thing I want to do is build a port, upgrade my ports in Athens to take advantage of all the trade agreements we currently um, are not benefiting from. Because right now we've got about eight to nine trade agreements, but right now we're limited on the amount of ships that can. The number of trade routes that can be accommodated in my port. But I just need to hope that France is content with its borders and does not decide to cause much trouble. Because you know how uh, the AI in these games treats human players. Oh, I wish I could kill this guy. Then again, there's not much tech I've got to steal, so... You know, let them. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. Hold on, that's a good idea, actually. So, I wonder how... Opportunity to construct um, useful buildings here has yet... Ah, okay, hold on. So, firstly, let's go to Russia. We're very friendly. Let's try and ally with them. Oh, no, come on. Uh, Crest Alliance and I'll offer you a grand oh no I want to try friends find friends I don't the Brits won't join me so I'm very friendly with the Ottomans but Oh well. Let's take advantage of the peace dividend. I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to want to recruit uh, two light galleys. One, one to make sure that all of my ports will have well, all of my important ports. Oh, actually, maybe make it three. So that I've got one for this port, which currently has a line infantry unit in it. One for this port. And then one that can also be my uh, floating boat which can do useful stuff. So that is going to get its craft workshops. And then we're probably going to want to make use of this, even though it's a meager yield iron mine. Three unit, three turns till you get walls. Let's get... Okay, it's tempting to get the local... F or do I, or do I, just, well, I think I just go for another trade port because I need their money. Trade port and steam pump mine, I think. And then we're on four turns till the new port. Because right now, I could... Oh, I've got a bit of breathing room to expand my army. My, well, to be honest, I could expand it by a nice chunk. I could probably upgrade some of the conscripts to line infantry and do lots of good stuff. Good boy, Barbary States. Ooh, the Austrians have rebelled. Interesting. 
I really don't like where the. I really don't like where the, what the French are doing. No, I'm not going to give you a region. You're getting absolutely hammered in Europe. I'm not giving you an out. Because right now you're looking for me to save you. I'm looking at you to save me. That's the thing. Don't look at Greece to uh, to protect you, to be your valiant defender. Because it's not going to happen. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, the important thing is what the Mamelukes do. Oh, the Mamelukes... Okay. I'm... The Mamluks haven't joined them, which is strange. Um, but it might just mean... Oh, okay. Hmm. So let's... Uh, oh, okay, well... Hmm. I'm, I, I remain sceptical that the Mamluks, who are their protectorate, don't join them. I just don't see that happening. Good, the Russians are advancing on... Yeah, there they go. And I have no allies. Sad face. One of your sea trade routes okay. is under attack from an enemy fleet. Without your intervention. So now I'm already at war, or I'm at war with the with the with the Ottomans. Can I now get a an alliance? Yeah. Okay. Um. What about if I asked for that? Okay, what if I asked for... Even though I've wasted some time researching it, that. Okay, what about just... Okay. Okay, I'll take just an alliance. France. Oh, I can't request France because... Dummy allies are at war with me. Um, okay, so... Let's take... This line of infantry back Marsh. to Damascus. Let's put a light galley into Take Beirut. Well, actually, let's put leave the light galley out here for now. Let's get this army into Alexandria. Embarked. Get them over to Beirut, which is just out of range. Disembark. And then get them back to Damascus. Then let's get you into Alexandria. Perfect. Okay, so I'd like to exp I'd like to open up more goods for trade, but the Ottomans won't let me. So I suspect I begin to upgrade Damascus. And probably. Yep. 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 Uh, probably want to do something to Jerusalem or maybe Cairo so I might get good roads for Cairo because plus 5 per, ta per turn to town wealth and I've got lots of towns so more town wealth would be handy although yeah they're all growing well hmm So that might, a great arsenal might be a good idea to start getting me some foot some howitzers. I think I need to get a great arsenal. Eh, it's 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 in my nature to want to do economy. I think I might do governor's mansion. Four turns, two thousand, and get a bonus to tax income. Um, bonus to, yeah, bonus to more well more tax income. That's what I need. Okay, three turns till I get new ports. End turn. Let's get ready. So at least the Ottomans are closer than the Mamelukes, so we can uh, destroy their small, piddly little army before it causes too much of a problem. I'll probably want to use my wealth to start getting more line infantry to replace the conscripts that served their purpose early on, but now we have fire by rank in line infantry. Like a problem, Ankara. 
Ankara would be a very good. Okay, so I'm at war with Baghdad and Ankara. Baghdad might be interesting because it opens up a new, opens up a route to the Persians. But I don't know if I want the route to the Persians. Or do I go for Ankara and try and go for peace again? Because the trouble is with protectorates is that the Mamluks currently have no one to focus on but me. Wow. What? Come on, Russia. Don't... Oh. Why? Why, France? Why? God damn it. Okay, oh. Hmm. Okay, I'm 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 getting to the point where I might be I might I could well be close to calling this series because I'm against I'm at war with too many powerful major powers right off the bat. Uh, you know, Austria's screwed me over in Europe. The Ottomans won't give me a break. Population growth in this region has been sufficient for a new town to emerge. Okay, so we can get Aswan. Yeah, there was Aswan. Enemy raid in Aleppo. Hmm. God damn it. So they're going to bring a navy to move these guys probably to hit one of my other towns. Because they're only at war with me. So I'm going to get absolutely screwed by by the French because there's nothing else I can do. Um. Hmm. This is, this is really tricky. I've got there, there are nothing, there are nothing. I think I need to start. Oh, I don't have wars in Cairo, so I can't build anything for three turns if I want to defend Cairo. I think that's what I have to do. I have to just end turn a few times, save up some money, start to build walls in Cairo, and then effectively just start to, to turtle again. Um, I'm not going to give you money pressure. No. Bugger off. <laughs> I know you need money, but I need money. France. The, yeah, the Austrians screwed me over early game. Oh, God, another stack of troops. Oh man, this is oh. this is just devastating to my own personal morale, let alone the morale in game. I'm against, I'm against the Ottomans and the French, and the French, the French, just the French wouldn't be so bad because you'd expect it'd be a few random armies would come your way, but now it's just the opportunity to construct useful buildings here. Yeah, no. See, at least their armies are sat there doing nothing. Okay, I may have to take. So let's take. Move them back to Jerusalem. I stuck that. Oh, God, God damn it. <laughs> that's, that's really bad. That's so bad. We will we will see because right now I'm I, I can't I'm struggling to catch up <laughs> with the major powers as it is let alone being the sole person at war for France like France France is in, is in all of Europe France is 
oh, France should be at war with so many people. They shouldn't be just looking at us. Right now they've not moved on us, and that's not... That's okay. It's manageable. Oh, here come the Mamelukes. To start blockading my ports. So there is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Okay. Let's get my new port on the go. Oh no, I can't get my new port on the go because I need walls in Cairo. Because if I, I really don't want them to drop an army here. Um. Okay, so you go here. You've got a fairly junk army, so I'm gonna sally and try to kill you win that I could do would be to build up a garrison slowly to look in the Ottoman forces that are currently in my territory and send my army east and knock out the Mamelukes to at least get rid of them as a important fact away territory. I can't do it um, because it's just it's just not a, it's just not a good thing to do. So let's put some citizenry on the walls to man these guns to get me a bit more firepower. Let's put get these guys to be in my center. Let's deploy my twelve pounder. Twelve pounders. You guys protect this flank. This unit of line infantry protect this unit of artillery. My mort garrison mortars just deploy outside. My pikes be ready to do something. Cover on the left. Oh yeah, my general. Bring my cavalry over here. My pikes bring my cavalry back. Get these guys just a pound. Pikemen. Let's run this militia conscript unit back and away. No, run cavalry, run, 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 run. Bring them back. Ooh, an opportunity to get the general's bodyguard. routing run the pikes into the camel gunners come on just tag one of them and then they'll have to engage force them to engage. Sorry, cavalry. That's a terrible idea. Switch to cast shot. Begin engaging the Israelis because they're charging. Good. They routed. I've lost lots of men, but they're doing a damn good job.
Except here I have to commit my cavalry to fight camels that I don't really want to do because my pikes have routed. Because unfortunately my pikes have broke. Good, kill a few more of them so if they come back then they are less incentivized to do good things. crazy in the general either now. Man your guns again. Reload men. If you don't these riskers of souls are gonna come in and just just, just kill you. Present. Guns of my charging in because they've had enough of waiting. Let's charge the cavalry, let's charge the pikes with my infantry, which isn't what you'd like to do. No way, Jose. Cavalry's routing. You, round shot, begin to snipe at their foot artillery at the rear. Good, they routed, and I'll take a route. Canister shot, blast that Israeli unit. General's bodyguard out here. Oh, so they did. Oh, they were aiming at my men, at my guys on the wall. Okay, let's get round shot. Aim at the guys at the rear. He goes form square. No, you no, don't form square. Screw it. Come on, get in. You get in. Ah, you were hiding your bashi bazooks, were you? Looking to lure us into a trip. Good, we got the general. Run these guys back into position. Oh, my cavalry came back. Okay, let's run them in. Oh, no, I don't want to run them in just yet. Canister shot. There's the Sorelis. So these Bashi Bazooks. Basically, favorite trying to get my guys out in line and reloaded.
Okay, I need to sw swing my line like so now. To have any chance of success. Bazooks because they're routing and they're almost at full strength. I do not want them coming back, so hopefully, I can get in there and start. damage I do, the more well, the fewer there are left of them on the field to actually be pain in the backside. Let's advance you guys both back. Canister shot can still engage the hillmen. Do a bit of killing. I'll come after the Israelis. Stop fire. I oh, know, keep firing comes to you. Excellent. Let's just keep killing. Continue. I almost hit end. Ooh. And let's just speed up time. So I'm more worried about their melee units than their than their um, ranged units because their ranged units are not very good but their melee units once they get in then they're in you know it's so I'd much rather I'd much rather kill their... Well, by order of priorities, it's ranged units, no, it's melee units, ranged units, and then their skirmishers. Skirmishers I'm not really bothered with. They're going to escape. Yeah, they escaped. They're going to escape too. Say la vie. Um, but we have pushed them back. We've. Um, that's not too much of a problem. At least it provides a target for the Ottomans to now come straight in. And we may end up losing Damascus. Because they could attack right now. So am I actually building anything anywhere I can stop? Except for my port. Everything that's been built. Oh no, I'm not even building my port. Because <laughs> I built walls in Cairo. So I'm going to stop doing that. Because if I don't do this, I'm going to lose. If I don't do this, I'm going to lose Damascus. Because I don't want to move these guys out either, because that would just provide a target for them to go south. Or do I just keep my army together? The weavers is constructed, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, yeah, you may. Uh, I might start. Go for some of these easier industrial techs now. I might get some benefit from them. In fact, I might even just build the port anyway. Then hit end turn. The only hope. 
Well, in a way, it's good they've got a breach because now our, our only hope would be if we can convince the Ottomans to go straight at it and not and ignore the walls entirely and just go straight at the breach. Um, whether or not that's possible, I don't know. More steely tech. The Russian dogs. Here come the Mamelukes. Just gonna blockade a port. Meh, at least it's not. Okay. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type. Pff, as if I'm gonna spend money on it now. In the end, this could be their downfall, because it's allowing me to build up to build up my forces just that bit more. Okay, so let's move. Okay, you need to build okay, I, I can't save to build walls, I need to build an army now. Um Recruit another unit of volunteers. Send these guns around to Damascus. They may get intercepted, but if they do, then they do. Let's go for the Weaver's Cottage. Let's go for this safer vineyard. And let's go up to upgrade uh, Patras. Yep. Damascus has been boosted, but the trouble is, is that they're blockading my well, they're they're in my port. Um, a bit of a junk army, and to be honest, now the Mamluks, this army's been destroyed. It's possible, it's doable. Um, the question is, doing it on the budget, and what the French do. If it was just the Mamluks and the Ottomans, I can handle it. The French, if the French come after me, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be game over, because I can't. I can deal with the, 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 the Mamelukes and the Ottomans because they are... Maybe I should... Not strong and affluent. Next time I might do it. Um, the problem with the, the... Well, so the problem, the good thing with the Austrians and the Mamel No, the Mamelukes and the Ottomans is that they are using lots of irregular troops. So my... Even though it's colonial line, it's not just proper line. Um, it's still better than what they have. So I've got the advantage. Um, but against the Russians, I don't have that advantage. So the Mamluks already sending reinforcements. Let's see if I can kill any. Nope, unfortunately. It's just like galley. Oh, they captured it, sadly. Don't blockade Greece. The opportunity to construct useful buildings here has pottery workshop. Yes, plus three gives me town wealth. Fleet destroyed, port blockaded, building constructed. Cydia as a military academy, so I can start to move up. New model bayonet drill gets me grenadiers and line infantry guards, but economic stuff is just really handy. Because this is this enlightenment that really makes your towns grow. Let's see if. Okay, let's try. Okay, I'm, I'm loath to do it. I might. I may have to. Unless I don't want to, I might have to butter them up. Oh, let's get you near Marines. Although it says he's zero, um, but still, I'll take Marines. Because if I can recruit these guys to a decent army, then this is probably a half decent garrison. So if I move, like if I moved um, my guards up, 
and my conscripts back. That's not a bad L army. To be honest, I'd then get ready to move on Beirut and I'd feel confident just knocking back everything that comes my way. At least in... Marfalene, volunteers, and Damascus. Good. Um, cool. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing rough adventures of Greece. Cheers, guys. Yeah.